हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ आहिर डी आर फ्रॉम आर बी एन बी कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर टुडे वी स्टडी अबाउट एक्सपेरिमेंट सोनोमीटर इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी हैव टू स्टडी द रिलेशन बिटवीन फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड वेवलेंथ ऑफ ए गिवन वायर अंडर द कॉन्स्टंट टेंशन बाय यूजिंग सोनोमीटर so aim of this experiment is to study the relation between frequency and wavelength of a given wire under the constant tension by using sonometer apparatus for these experiments are sonometer box slotted weights with the hanger set of tuning forks rubber pad paper rider meter scale etc now diagram of sonometer box is as like this one this sonometer box is a rectangular hollow wooden box there are two bridges with knife edges a wire or one end of the wire is fitted to the one end of the sonometer it passes over the bridges and also it passes over the pulley and another end of wire is connected to the hanger with slotted weights now in this lecture in this experiment we have to adjust this distance between two knife edges when vibrating tuning fork is on the surface of sonometer box then we have to adjust this distance between two knife uh, edges of the bridges in such way that at the b bridges there is formation of node and at the center there is formation of anti node as like this diagram in this way there are production of transverse stationary wave formula for this experiment is n is equal to 1 upon 2l under root t upon m where n is the frequency small l is the vibrating length between two bridges and t is the tension in the wire small m is the mass per unit length of the wire now during this experiment we apply constant tension in the wire and tension applied to the wire is 2500 into 980 di for given tuning fork frequency of 512 hertz is hammer on gently on the rubber pad and place on the surface of the sonometer box now as exactly at the center of the bridges anti node is formed then paper rider is thrown off and to the bridges nodes are formed in this way there is formation of stationary wave transfer stationary waves are produced in this case now again we measure this same vibrating length for given tuning fork again we place the paper rider at the center of the bridges and hammer the tuning fork gently on the rubber pad, uh, rubber pad and place on the sonometer box then again paper rider is thrown off now we measure the length between two bridges it is equal to 12 cm now we take another tuning fork of frequency 384 hertz this tuning fork is again hammered on the rubber pad and place on the surface of the sonometer box again we place this uh, paper rider at the center of bridges and we adjust the vibrating length in such way that at the center of bridges there is formation of anti node and at the bridges there is formation of node so again paper rider is thrown off now we again measure the vibrating length between two bridges for 384 
vibrating length is 16 centimeter now for frequency 320 hertz we have to adjust the vibrating length now we hammer this tuning fork gently on the rubber pad and place on the surface of the sonometer box again always remember that this paper rider should be at the center of bridges as paper rider is thrown off then we measure the vibrating length for 320 hertz vibrating length is 19 centimeter now we take another tuning fork whose frequency is 288 hertz now we have to find out vibrating length for this tuning fork As antinode is exactly formed at the center of the bridges, then again paper rider is thrown off. Now we place this paper rider at the center. Ah, paper rider is thrown off. So exactly at the center of the bridges, antinodes are formed, and we measure this length. This is equal to 21 centimeter. So for 288 hertz, vibrating length is 9, uh, 21 centimeter. We record this reading. Now for unknown frequency, again we have to decrease this reading, uh, uh, reading of vibrating length. Always this paper rider should be placed at the center of the bridges. We take tuning fork of unknown frequency, hammer this tuning fork gently on the rubber pad and place on the sonometer box. Now increase the vibrating length so that again antinode is exactly formed at the center of the bridges. As antinode is exactly formed on the center of the bridges, then paper rider should be thrown off. In this way, antinode is exactly formed at the center, then paper rider is thrown off. Now this reading is of vibrating length is 13 centimeter. So for unknown frequency, vibrating length is 13 centimeter. Now we record all these reading. Readings were recorded are shown in the table. For given tuning fork of frequency 512, vibrating length is 12 cm. Its reciprocal is 8.3 into 10 raise to minus 2. And product of frequency and vibrating length is 6145 hertz cm. For tuning fork of frequency 384, vibrating length is 16 cm. 
रिसिप्रोकल ऑफ वाइब्रेटिंग लेंथ इज सिक्स पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस टू प्रोडक्ट एन इंटू एल इज सिक्स थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी फोर हर्ट सेंटीमीटर फॉर ट्विनिंग फोर्क ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी थ्री हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी हर्ट्स वाइब्रेटिंग लेंथ इज नाइनटीन सेंटीमीटर एंड रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ वाइब्रेटिंग लेंथ इज फाइव पॉइंट टू इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एन इंटू एल इज सिक्स थाउजेंड एटी हर्ट सेंटीमीटर फॉर टू हंड्रेड एटी एट हर्ट्स वाइब्रेटिंग लेंथ इज ट्वेंटी वन सेंटीमीटर रेसिप्रोकल ऑफ वाइब्रेटिंग लेंथ इज फोर पॉइंट एट इंटू टेन रेस टू माइनस टू प्रोडक्ट एन इंटू एल इज सिक्स The tuning fork of unknown frequency having vibrating length 13 cm and its uh, reciprocal is 7.7 into 10 raised to minus 2. Now calculations are as like this one. For n into l, 512 into 12, that is equal to log of 512 plus log of 12. Characteristics of 512 is 2, and mantis are 7093. Then the characteristics of 12 is 1, and mantis are 0792. On adding this, we get 3.7885. Its antilog is 6145 hertz centimeter. Similarly, for 384 into 16. Its product is six thousand one hundred forty-four hertz centimeter. For next one, three hundred twenty into nineteen, its product is six thousand zero eighty hertz centimeter. For two hundred eighty-eight into twenty-one, its product is six thousand forty-seven hertz centimeter. For finding the mean annual, we have to add all these. And divide by four, so six thousand forty-five plus six thousand one hundred forty-four plus six thousand eighty plus six thousand forty-seven upon four, that is equal to twenty-four thousand four hundred sixteen upon four, and mean annual is equal to six thousand one hundred four hertz centimeter. Now we have to find out unknown frequency. For unknown frequency, formula is n dash is equal to mean annual upon l dash. Mean annual is six thousand one hundred four upon l dash is thirteen, and we get unknown frequency by calculation six thousand uh, sorry four hundred sixty nine point five hertz. Now unknown frequency from graph. For that purpose, we have to plot a graph of one upon l against n. One upon l is along the y-axis, and frequency is along the x-axis. So we take suitable scale. On x-axis, one centimeter equal to 50 hertz, and along the y-axis, one centimeter equal to 0.5. Into 10 raised to minus 2 centimeter raised to minus 1. Then, with the help of reading, we have to plot the graph for frequency 512. One upon L is 8.3, so we plot point here. For frequency 384, one upon L is 6.2, so point is plotted here. For frequency 320, one upon L is 5.2 into 10 raised to minus 2, so point is plotted here. And for frequency 288, uh, reciprocal of vibrating length is 4.8 into 10 raised to minus 2, point is plotted here. Now we draw the straight line passing through the origin, as like this one. All points are uh, along the line. Now we have to find out unknown frequency. For that purpose, uh, for unknown frequency, vibrating length is 13 centimeter. So reciprocal of vibrating length is 7.7 into 10 raised to minus 2. So 
so we draw the perpendicular on uh, x axis and y axis then we get unknown frequency on x axis which is equal to 475 hertz so in this way we get unknown frequency of tuning fork by graph is 475 hertz now in a result as we know that this annual product that is equal to 6104 hertz centimeter which is constant when tension and mass per unit length are kept constant therefore n is inversely proportional to l and first law means law of length is verified in second case unknown frequency of given tuning fork by calculation is 469.5 hertz and by graph it is equal to 475 hertz thank you